Check this. Ooh, it was dislocated. I just made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. So here we are, look, I got everybody here. So we have Cindy and Gail. Cindy is the owner mother of Buddy, and Gail is a friend of the family, right? And you help also take care of Buddy sometimes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Okay. And Buddy just dropped out. <laughs> Buddy is below the wagon. Tell us a little bit who Buddy is, his breed his age, okay. and kind of your origin story of how you met Buddy. He's 16. He's going to be mm -hmm. 17 in September. He's Pomeranian Poodle, Mini Husky, Mini Alaskan Eskimo. Wow. Okay, that's cool. And then how did you come out about having Buddy in your life? He was a puppy when we got him. Oh, it was cool. my son that kept asking for a dog, and we yeah. were just going to look, and then we got him. Great. So, yeah. so you've had him since he's a puppy. Since he's a baby. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he's been with you guys forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he was walking pretty good last week. He was walking great. We and he went out on long day. walks, right? We would walk a couple miles, yeah. Wow, almost every day? Every day, unless it was snowing or raining. Yeah, and then what happened on Wednesday? We walked about a half a mile. I was getting ready for work. It was about 6.45 in the morning. I put laundry away because I had extra time. I came downstairs and then all of a sudden I heard crying. Well, I've never heard him cry. I've never heard that. He was like yelping and crying and I have steps that are steps, landing steps, and they're carpeted and he was on the landing crying. Um, so I had assumed that he misjudged a step or and I was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I was trying to touch him to see what hurt, but I just immediately took him to the ER. Bed. Was he able to walk then when you noticed him crying like no, that? No, he was just lying down. And if you put him up, what would happen? I didn't. I just put him in the car and took him to the ER. Because you knew something was really Yeah, wrong. because he was crying. Do you think he got hurt on the steps at the house after the walk, or do you think he got hurt on the walk? He definitely guess. wasn't hurt on the walk because he walked up and down the so stairs a few times. So maybe something happened, yeah. So I think he either came down too fast and landed real hard, or he misjudged a step. I don't know. Okay. Can anybody touch him and find pain? So like, no. the vet goes, ah! No. You know, and, and you can see the scream when no. you touch. No. Okay. With animals, I don't have them go, hey, listen, it's my right shoulder. And they tell me, right? Um, or I think it's my right shoulder. And I think of myself sometimes at the dentist. It's really funny at the dentist. I work dental. You work dental? Hygienist. Yeah, a dental hygienist. <laughs> so this is a perfect story to bring you in. Um, but I sometimes can't tell which tooth it is yeah. at the dentist. So they either use um, a probe to touch or they use cold or hot, yes. right? So I, I know it's one of the back bottom teeth and they're like, is it that? I'm like, no, is it that? I'm like, ah! And then I feel, oh, sorry, scared. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know it's that spot. And so you think about it, that's very primitive, but it still works, yeah, right? Sure. That you have to touch the spot and see what the response is. So it's stimulus response. No, when you pick him up, does he cry? Uh, the, first, could, the first day or two, Okay. There was a little cry, and I was trying to figure out where am I, where do I keep touching you? And I do find that when I was picking him up and not supporting his mm -hmm. back, he, once I would cradle his legs in his backside, he wouldn't cry. So I don't know, but I know I was okay. picking him up from right here, and maybe he was crying there. I, okay. I Does he bite when he gets scared? No. Okay. Never bitten I, I don't either. <laughs> um, all right. Anything else the doctors found or tested? Okay, so let's get started. So we're now going to go over to that mat. Okay. It's okay. So we see the back leg shaking, and then um, just let him fall if he wants, because it's just a, he'll just fall down to the mat. Okay. <laughs> so he's definitely not walking. Can I work with you today? I don't know if I'm getting a total 100%. Yeah, yeah, go for it. But he he's, is he here. He loves all the outside the box stuff. He does. He likes alternative doctors. He yes, he does. He loves it. All right, listen, I'm an alternative guy. <laughs> and would it be okay if I work with you? What do you think? Do 
Traditionally, I just start the adjustment, but I think I want to palpate them yeah, quite a sure. bit. In medicine, when we say palpate, we're, we're touching to look for, yeah. okay? So I'm gonna just start all the way up here. I don't think anything's going on with the jaw, but we might as well just touch everything. So I'm on the TMJ, and I'm at the, on the horse we call this the pole, but I'm at the atlantal occipital joint. It feels very tight up here at the atlas. So I'm going to adjust that later, I'm sure. So this is not great, but we can bring that all the way around, right? That side's worse, but I can finally get it there. Okay, now we're going to bring his nose all the way up. Stretch your face. Oh, good oh, boy. Oh, good. That's, we should good be able to go boy. to the ceiling. Yeah, and now boy. we're going to go all the way down. Good boy. He doesn't like that direction. The neck is just generally tight, but he is a senior dog. How's his health been otherwise? Did they ever tell you he had hip dysplasia over the years? No. Did he ever have any problems where he came up lame during his life? No. Okay. Uh, one time on his blood work, his kidney Let's have him lie on his side, there. maybe. Oh, does he like lying on his side or not really? See, usually, but ever since he yeah. fell he or got want hurt, to. I haven't seen him lay yeah, on his so side. Yeah, so he doesn't want to be in that position. So here's the front right shoulder. I'm going to see if I can get it to stretch straight. I'm going to bend the, el the elbow and... So I'm grabbing, and I'm kind of, remember, I'm looking for a Yelp, okay? okay? So I'm letting everybody know who's watching, as well as you and Gail, <laughs> that I'm at the dentist office, okay, where you live sometimes <laughs> during the day, and I'm probing, yeah. trying to get him to Yelp. Yeah. It's called stimulus response, right? And stimulus response is still effective. I'm also feeling for inflammation, you know, because if we, can find a spot, then we can yeah, at least start sure. there, right? Yeah. And I'm coming down the back now, so I'm through the thoracics, I'm up here at the withers between the shoulder blades, and I'm coming down, and I'm pushing pretty hard now. So I'm bouncing through, bouncing through, bouncing through, looking for a bad spot, or looking for a restricted. Now I find right here at the lumbosacral junction, I found a tight spot that I'd love to adjust anyway as a chiropractor. Even if it's not yeah, his bad sure. spot, yeah. it's a bad spot on him. Yeah, and also a bad spot on most quadrupeds that get into their senior years. It's an area that gets a lot of stress, wear and tear, and gets arthritic very easily. So now let's take his back left leg. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna, we'll just crack his toes. I'm gonna check. No, I hear that. Yeah, mm -hmm. little crackles. And he's tight, but you know, again, he's, part of that is normal. At, you know, he's 16, right? You said 16? Yes. And look, look how nice like that leg moves, right? Yeah. Bring it all the way up here. Smell yeah. that. Gymnast. And then let's bring the leg into extension. Now he's in a weird position because I'd love him to be on his side, but he's not choosing his side. But let's bring that leg back anyway. And he might not like that. Yeah, that, yeah. that one, that's a bad spot. So the back left hip is not good. Thank you for telling me. I told good you this boy. is going to be tough. Yeah. So here's the back right, which actually is pretty normal. I really think it's that back left. Mm -hmm. okay. But look, this one's acting nice. Look at how this one is like crumpled underneath. Yeah. So his front legs are both splayed. Do you see that? It's worse on the left one. Yeah, but the left is worse. Yeah. Now we're going to try to do something. I'm going to try to put his knuckles down and he fixes it. That's a very good thing. Oh, good. So that means his proprioception reception is good on the front. Let's look at the back end. So now we're gonna put a little weight on the back end and that back end, he's not correcting. So if an animal or a human has proprioception reception deficit, there could be a neurological problem, right? Like a pinched nerve, a herniated disc. It's a sign that something's off. All right, so let's uh, start to work, okay? Yeah. And I'm gonna start up here at his atlas. And his right atlas is really jammed up, so I'm gonna do that first. So I'm gonna laterally flex. I'm gonna reach around you, is that okay? Of course. And, and he's gonna yelp on a few of these. Okay. Okay, that's one. Not enough. Bring your head over, baby. Good. Ooh, that cracked really big. Now let me tap the atlas from lateral to medial. And on the wing of the atlas, and I think it rotated forward. I'm gonna get on the occiput too. So now, the first one that I got the big crack out of was C5. But let's see if his head comes over a little bit better now. 
Yeah, definitely. Oh my God, look definitely. Look at all the way wow. in. I'm bringing it all the way to his back. Good boy. Good boy. Let's bring the head down. It's even coming down better. So now I'm gonna come just above the shoulder at T1. It's a hard adjustment to get on any animal. Mm. Okay, got it. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust at the pole. I call it the pole on a dog. <laughs> so this is called an anterior humerus. It's not great. I'm gonna bring that leg up. One more. Do you hear a crack? Yeah. Yay. I got a really good adjustment on that. Okay, got that one pretty good. Coming in deep into the um where the base of the neck meets the shoulder. So now it's finding the next spot on him. One more. It was dislocated. Really? Yeah. I heard a pop. It just popped back in. I did, I heard that. Oh, I don't know if it's going to stay though, because that was really loose. And I'm right now massaging it, trying to get it, this uh, tight muscle around the hip to let go a little bit. So it won't just yank it right back out again. Okay. All right, let's try this too, because this sometimes gives a little extra. His tail just went up. Got some. Okay. Let's get those legs in. Okay. He didn't do that before. Okay. Look at you. So that's different, right? It's way different. All right, so this is some of the things we need to do. He's gonna go home and be crate rested. He's going to, uh, they're gonna wait 24 hours. They're gonna report back to us, let us know what happens. I did set that hip really nicely. Uh, he's now able to stand, but not much more. The front legs are still really widely displaced. That's about as much as I can do. They're invited back if they feel like we're onto something and maybe we can help. Okay? Yeah, that sounds All right. great. Thank cool. you Thank so you. much. That was was this amazing. pretty cool? Amazing. All right, good. Okay, so it's been three days. What did you notice when you went home? He's definitely turning his head. He sits there and looks back and forth, but mm -hmm. he's super excited. He can go the right. He's sitting up. He gets himself up and down. His legs, like this one's not splayed out. Okay. This one, I think he's just slipping on the mat, but he sits with his legs together. Rather than just totally. They were totally yeah. out. He was super like alert and like happy on the way home. Um, he's laying on his side. Okay, He's, he wasn't able to lay on his side he before. He wouldn't lay on his side before. Yeah. How's his mood, his personality, his disposition? He's, he's been super happy. He like, he'll scoot himself around to get around. But okay. he's, he's definitely been super happy. So we've seen some nice, uh, nice improvement, okay. right? Yeah. Hey buddy, can we work a little bit today? What do you think? You're back? Would it be okay if I do a little work with you today? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start up here. Might do a little bit more on that bad spot. Here it is again. It's much better, but it's still out a little bit. So I'm going to laterally flex, laterally flex. There you go. Now I'm going to massage it a little bit. There it is. All right, good for you. Come down the back. Three is tender, so I'm going to adjust that one. And I'm going to push down, get the slack out. Ooh, that's a really bad spot. Sorry, buddy. Let's just do it. <laughs> Got it. And that popped, actually. Did you hear it, too? Okay. Yeah. Here's the sacrum. And that's a tender. <laughs> do you feel how tender that is, buddy? I'm going to just adjust it. No, didn't get it. All right, that one away. Back it up with a little bit of adjustment with this instrument. And good. Got it. Okay. I do feel like a little strength in there this time. It was really yeah, limpy. Yeah, I see that. For you know, sure there's I see like the there's some rigidity in a way. There, he just moved it. Yeah, I did. It. I saw okay, that. so he didn't do that at all no. on Monday. He Look, he's correcting it. Yay, buddy. That's actually a, a really good sign, buddy. Awesome. We're gonna look at the back left now. And he just placed it. So he's getting, 
He's and the, the back hip is so it's so nice when it's in its socket. Yeah. Remember, I was worried if he would hold yes. that adjustment, yeah. and he did. His hip is in, so that's beautiful, that's buddy. Good. That's a big deal. All right. So I'm massaging into the femoral heads right here, and I want to see what this front end looks like. Now he might yelp here, okay, because I'm on his shoulder. Okay, let's do the the left one. There it goes. Yeah, so while I have him here, I'm going to do a little bit more into the hips on both sides. And then a little bit up here. There's your sacrum. I was thinking what more I could do for that front. Front legs that are doing really weird stuff. His front legs are very splayed. Now, I will say that sometimes when he's laying at home, they are straight, and he'll put it out straight and then lay on it. So he's trying to yeah, correct it. Yeah, he's definitely, it. definitely better than they were. Yeah. All right, so let's finish here. No, look. He's yeah, so he's, he can get in a more of a position of, of ease that he wasn't able to achieve before. And we'll see what happens, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank All right, you. thank you. Thank you. We're back with another treatment, and we started, how many weeks ago do you think we started? What? Four weeks ago, okay. He's really beginning to walk. That back, hi sweetie, you're a good boy. Uh, his back right is still not really engaging, so I'm concerned about that, and we're gonna work on that today. But he's come a long way in, in the last few weeks, right? Oh yeah, 100%, because yeah. he couldn't even stand. Yeah, I mean, let alone not walk, he couldn't stand, so he couldn't even support uh, you know, his body against gravity. Like, how have the last few weeks gone? Talk, talk to me about that. I mean, he would be sitting up, standing up. He just wants to walk. Mm -hmm. It's a little slippery on the floor, but he doesn't want to be in the wagon now. He wants yeah. to get out of the wagon. He's going outside on his own to go to the bathroom. He's definitely way more active, way more alert. In the beginning, when he started walking, he was only walking counterclockwise, like in circles, but today is the first day I saw him walk, walk clockwise. Okay. Buddy, would it be okay if we work a little today? Do you remember me? Or maybe it's good if you don't, because then you won't be scared. He's looking at you, yes. and you can decide for <laughs> um, He's like, I want to check with my guardian, my parent and guardian. <laughs> so you might control the head a little bit, so have your hand here if he starts to react. You don't have to do much, just be, be there to, to help me. So here's the hip. It doesn't feel right. And he's very guarded, so as I move the leg into extension, now my my fingertips, my thumb and index finger are on the um, femoral head and it feels like it's riding up and out a little bit. Not quite a dislocation. It's okay. Probably the proper word is, there it goes, it clicked. Did you hear it click? A little bit, I did, yeah. Yay. It's called a subluxation because it's less than a luxation and a less luxation is just the word for dislocation. <laughs> out it's still moving it's it's like um it's a little unstable so let's get him stand for a second and try to uh, center his legs in front yeah get them squared up a little bit there you go. oh yeah he's way back yeah. Oh, better on that foot. yeah he's standing on that foot let's see if he so he does correct it do you see yeah he Which wasn't doing good. that before so he's totally correcting yeah. it now and that is, uh, again, checking for the proprioceptive response down to the foot. All right, so I'm gonna now, in this position, my thumb is on the femoral head as I bring the leg into extension. I'm just testing it. Okay, I'm gonna hold the spot, let his foot touch. Okay. Tap it back in. Sure. And there we go. Oh, okay, yeah. good. So now he can relax again, okay? And I'm off that area. Here's the withers area. Remember I told you about that? Mm -hmm. 
coming down the back, pretty strong. Got that one. Don't go yet. Okay. There's another one. Okay. Oh, good job, guys. I want to do a little bit on the tail. Okay. And then the sacral. All right, he's done. I'm very worried about the leg because it's not very stable. And it feels like it doesn't want to hold on this back right. So, and the knee, the patella's off a little bit too. So let me adjust the patella. So he has a luxated patella, which means the patella or the kneecap is, is not in, but I can fix that. So let me do that. My fingertips are right on it and I'm gliding it. I'm gonna just massage here for a second. So I'm back on the hip into the glute area. I already got the kneecap in, so the kneecap is fine. A little more, a little more, and there. The front right is worse. Hold that so it's back, legs don't fall. Got it. Good boy. All right, so that part's done. Awesome, thank you. Let's, let's put him in his wagon just so he can not do anything for a while, okay? okay. Yeah. And he's, he's postured up there, you see? He's, yeah. He's able to put some pressure into the ground. His feet are actually in a better position yeah. too now because before his leg would have been up further, but it's definitely aligned better. Thanks for letting me work with you today, okay? All right. We have Buddy back, and what is this, the fourth treatment, or? Uh, yeah, this fourth time. He arrived in a wagon. Today I almost didn't recognize him because he was without a wagon. And he's moving really well. That back right is not great, but you said it wasn't great before, It would shake right? sometimes before yeah. he got hurt. And you said he's turning 17 soon, right? When is his birthday? September 27th. So in six weeks he'll be 17. That's a senior dog. Yeah. So what have you noticed, though? I know we visually can see it, but what have you noticed um, he's as his mother and all owner? Over. He doesn't. He would. The last time we were here was the last time he was in the wagon. He would jump out if I tried to even put him in there. Now, right? You don't want to um, do the wagon. He's. He just wants to walk. He's mm. totally himself again. He's doing curbs now. I didn't let him do stairs yet. I don't know if people could see this, but this is really important. He's wearing a bow tie today. <laughs> Okay, because when you visit the chiropractor, <laughs> you should up. really dress up. <laughs> He's um, sleeping better. He laid on that right side for the first time, maybe. Yeah, because remember, down. he couldn't lay on that side. Yeah, was, he wouldn't lay on either side cents, before in the beginning. Yeah. But he laid on that side. Um, he slept the whole ride up here, and that was the first. So really cool. Yeah, he's definitely doing way, um, way better. It's he's so not nice. crying when I pick him yeah. up. And he such a, has such a sweet, sweet face, doesn't he? Yeah. Can I work with you today? How do you feel about that? I want to ask you because I know you don't love when I work on you, but I just want you to think about that for a second because I want to know if that's okay. Would it be okay if we do a little work? I especially want to look at your back right leg. So I'm on this hip. And... Shh, shh, shh. And I'm working into the hip. Thanks, buddy. I'm just going to rub this hip a little okay, bit. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little tender, I'm sure. Okay, okay. And while I have him here, I don't know how long he's going to sit here. I'm going to, I see something I want to adjust. So I'm going to use this instrument. You're going to smack your face with that, you? There you go. And one more. <laughs> buddy, you've come a long way. I'm really proud of you. Okay, good. So let's check the knee. The knee is in. It's held. I'm going to come into the hip flexor. So he can stand now. He doesn't need to lay down. But hug him the way you were. Just give him a little support if he likes that. So now I'm into the um, 
the iliopsoas muscle. It's really tight, so I'm going to massage that a little bit. So, buddy, this is, has a lot to do with you being able to bring your thigh towards your belly. Are you listening, <laughs> buddy? He's like, listen, just work on me, get it over with. He's letting me get in here. So I'm on these muscles and massaging in, holding these trigger points or pressure points. And I feel like I'm in a good area right now. And the hip feels in, which is nice. Your patella or kneecap is in, buddy. That must be horrible when it goes out. That doesn't feel right, right? Let's go back up to the sacrum. Let me switch positions. I'm, I'm holding part of his weight in my hands and here's the tail I'm pulling a little bit at the apex of the sacrum where it meets the first coccygeal segment and checking the direction you have good mobility down here so I like that good flexibility buddy I'm coming up now through the sacral segments and now I'm between the tuber, tuber sacralis. I almost couldn't say that, buddy. Mm -hmm. I got tongue tied. So now I'm going to um, do a little adjustment on sacral base posterior. Okay, there. Did you hear that click? Oh, I did. We're, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh, good. Extension, buddy. Look at, you look at the ceiling. Let's bring your head this way and let's bring it this way. This way. So you have a little tightness on the left, so I'm going to just reach through here. There we go. Coming down through the withers, T3 through T8, if you're taking note of this. And feel pretty good through the withers. Upper thoracics coming down to more of the area where dogs will get IBDD, intervertebral disc. Then I'm on L7 here. That's a bad one, so I'm gonna just get this. Because that's another reason that right leg, you know, uh, dogs and horses and other quadrupeds can get sciatica. And this is where it's sensitive. So now I'm gonna adjust in here. Okay, I'm trying to help your, okay. As long as I have you here, I'm going to rub out the hamstring a little bit, too. Because <laughs> remember, the hamstring is where sciatic can travel through as well. Stretch it forward. Bring it back. I'm going to hold this stretch for a little bit, okay? So I have him in a extension, but I'm supporting the, the hip socket with my finger and thumb. Because I don't want to put any stress on that. So I'm really trying to just get that that hip flexor stretch, iliopsoas stretch. Pick up his chest just a little bit. Good. Good. Let's do this front one. Ooh. I heard that. I heard that one. Buddy, did you hear that one? All right, let's have you walk on this rubber mat. The tail is nice and happy, right? Yeah, I'm riding this tail. Stand on that. Okay, how are you feeling now? Good shake. Thanks for shaking out. I'd always like to see that. So we'll see how he does, all right? Please leave uh, Buddy a nice comment, and um, he reads all of his comments. He does. He always does.